Young Peace family, we are back live on again. Uh, as you guys see on today's open day, it's going to be a brief live on YouTube, touching on the whole crypto issue, a breakdown of Biden's crypto executive order. So I'm gonna let everybody get in, you know, if you can't get in. So if y'all don't mind, uh, go ahead and get in. So we don't got nobody in right now. But yeah, man, first thing first I want to say is, uh, you know, this, uh, I was really scared of the whole crypto uh, order because nobody really knew what it was entailed. But, you know, I definitely know they're not going to ban crypto of any sort, but they are definitely going to try to regulate it of some sort. But yeah, yeah, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it. But look guys, so as you guys see, you know, for the past couple of days it's actually um, been in the news about how Biden was supposed to be signing an immediate executive order on Wednesday. Well, Today is the day, it is Wednesday, and on the White House's actual website, uh, they have it, uh, it's called a fact sheet, President Biden to sign executive order on responsible development of digital assets. Now, here's basically what the whole executive order entails. Basically, it's just outlining the government from what they say, they say that they are putting certain departments over uh, to manage the, the digital assets and do research on digital assets. And from what I think, I think it's just more so just so they can get their fun and get their feet into as well as creating their own digital uh, currency. Because later in this executive order actually says that they're actually trying to, what does it say? It says that they're trying to explore a U.S. central bank digital currency by placing urgency on research of a potential digital bank currency. So this is really why I wanted to go live. I really wanted to go live because this right here is actually what I consider just the government trying to um, figure out a way to get into the crypto world, but regulate it. Now, if they were to go in here and actually create a digital uh, central bank digital currency that would put that would basically make people uh, who deal with in that digital bank, which is most likely going to not be backed by anything. Um, it's going to make it to where you're going to have to pay taxes if you decide that you want to deal with that particular digital bank, which I am 100% against. Because, you know, they kind of defeat the whole purpose of the centralized platforms and the centralized currency. So that's why I'm definitely sticking with Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum. No, not Ethereum, because Ethereum is centralized in Slot and Bitcoin. But for the most part, this whole executive order is basically just, it entails that the Federal Reserve is going to be doing their own research into digital assets to figure out what type of way that they can... Uh, what type of way that they can regulate crypto. And that's what it is, is that they're not going to ban crypto, but they're definitely going to try to regulate crypto of some sort because they're seeing that people are making millions, hundreds of thousands of 
dollars in crypto and they're not getting their fair share of it but this whole exploring the u.s central bank digital currency this is something definitely to be aware of they would have to get everybody on board with it but here's the thing so if they were to create a whole central digital bank that means that they would be in control of everything that goes on meaning that you can't send your funds to a digital wallet a decentralized digital wallet which is kind of defeats the whole purpose of the government getting into crypto is they're trying to centralize it and regulate it um but you know i'm a firm believer in the bitcoin uh decentralization on the blockchain as well as uh, the Solana blockchain as well as the other decentralized platforms. And that's pretty much my take on the Biden's executive order that they, uh, they put in effect today. But uh, I do not think that uh, crypto will be banned of any sort, but they will definitely try to regulate it or create their own currency and that they will try to force people to get involved with uh, in order to basically control and then what they're most likely going to do is they're most likely going to try to make it to where you can if you're not on the digital on their digital currency using their digital currency they're going to make it to where it's going to be uh feeling like you're left out and like because here's what they're probably going to do what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to roll that out and start giving out digital benefits they're probably going to give like uh two thousand dollars or a stimulus check if you guys start using the platform when people are in dire time of need like they did uh in covid and then that's how they're going to get people hooked on to it and then once you're hooked on to it you know fair game well but that's my um thoughts on the whole uh decentralized the whole executive order on crypto and all that but nothing too crazy but, you know, for the most part, things will be all right. I'm still just sticking to centralized platforms such as, you know, the Bitcoin blockchain as well as Solana and whatever. But let me know what y'all think. You know, feel free to comment below your thoughts and this, that, and third. But on that end, 